to the killing of Hamas chief Ishmael Haniyeh, West Asia is on the brink of a wider regional war. That's amid growing fears of a possible broader conflict. Britain and Egypt have asked their airlines to avoid Iranian and Lebanese airspace. Well, Egypt instructed all of its airlines to avoid Iranian airspace for three hours in the early morning of Thursday. Egypt's Civil Aviation Ministry later confirmed that the notice was intended to reduce flight safety risks in light of a notification it received from Iranian authorities. It's believed that Tehran has asked to avoid flying in its airspace. That's because of military exercises conducted by the country's elite forces, the IRGC, in western Iran. Meanwhile, top Muslim diplomats of the Saudi-based Organisation of Islamic Cooperation met in Jeddah. The OIC has held Israel fully responsible for the heinous killing of Hamas political leader Ismail Haniyeh. The Islamic bloc warned that Haniyeh's killing could destabilise the region. The declaration came at the end of an extraordinary meeting called in part by Iran, which has vowed to retaliate for the attack on Haniyeh. In another significant development, Iran has told the UN that reaching a ceasefire and securing an Israeli withdrawal from Gaza are top priorities for Tehran, even as it seeks retaliation for the killing. In a statement, Iran's permanent secretary to the UN has said that they have pursued two priorities, simultaneously first establishing a durable ceasefire in Gaza and the withdrawal of the Israeli military from the territory, and second, punishing the aggressor for the assassination of Marta Haniyeh. This statement comes as Washington intensifies its efforts to reach a ceasefire that could avert Iranian retaliation against Israel. Earlier in the week, the White House said negotiations had reached a final stage in a readout of calls between Biden and the leaders of Qatar and Egypt. This development comes amid reports that Lebanon-based Hezbollah is preparing to attack Israel independent of an all-Iranian response. According to reports, the militant group is moving at a faster pace than Iran in readying an attack. Reports say that the Lebanese group is looking to launch an attack in the coming days, while Iran is still ironing out its plan for a large-scale attack against Israel. Reports also suggest that Hezbollah can likely initiate an attack with few to no advance signs. Earlier in the week, 19 people were injured, one of them critically, after a Hezbollah drone strike near Nahayana in the northernmost coastal city of Israel. And the IDF had said that the impact along with the highway had caused by a failed Iron Dome interceptor. Meanwhile, Israel is tensely awaiting an attack as the threat looms. Military hospitals are on high alert. Israel's ambulance service has stopped blood supplies in fortified underground centres and factories have moved out hazardous materials. Authorities are also preparing for the possibility of mass cash withdrawals. Public bomb shelters have been fitted with digital systems that allow them to be unlocked remotely during an attack. Around 65% of Israelis have a room in their home or apartment that is a bomb shelter. Shelters in apartments are designed in such a way that even if the building collapses, they should remain standing as a separately fortified tower. Well, Weon's Jody Cohen went inside one such fortified bunker to get a sense of how Israelis are gearing up for a potential war. So I'm going to take you on a walkthrough of what a public bomb shelter is like. So I'm in Renana. This is a small shopping center just off the main high street. Down the steps, there's a car park here, which is actually an open car park. So that wouldn't provide any defense against a big barrage of rockets. But just here, there's been some signs for a bomb shelter. And just through here, it's a bit dark. You're going to see the entrance there, I'm coming into a bomb shelter here. There's no one around, it's very dark, it's just empty. And I don't know if you can see anything here, it's just one big room basically, um, completely in the dark. Now the reason this is open, this wouldn't normally be open, but it has been open since the start of the year and the municipalities are preparing local bomb shelters because 
Um, Israel is bracing itself for an attack by Iran and its proxies, including Hezbollah in Lebanon. And we're also hearing that a major underground bunker has been prepared for Israel's leadership, which so far has not been prepared in this war. They're obviously deeming the attack that is expected to be big enough to open that bunker for the leadership as well. This is Jody Cohen for We On, World is One.